YouTube, what's poppin'? Michael here, welcome back to Technoid. Anyway guys, we're gonna get straight to this episode because today's review is another review in collaboration with AceFast. AceFast was kind enough to reach out to me again and send me another product for review. Uh, I wanna thank AceFast once again for giving me another opportunity to promote their products. And this time around, the second product that they sent me was actually one that is proven to be a genuine lifesaver in terms of my college day-to-day -day use. I am of course talking about the AceFast Triple Charger. Now the AceFast Triple Charger is a 3-in-1 charging device that is mostly generally advertised for the iPhone 12s, 13s, and other iPhones. You can also use them with Androids that do have MagSafe cases out there, but for general purposes, we're going to narrow this video down to the iPhone 13 and 12 users. Now, before I start this video, again, they did send this to me for review, but again, they do not influence any of my reviews, nor do they have a say in what I'm gonna tell you guys or the outcome of this video. So I just wanna get that out of the way. But anyway, let's start with the triple charger itself. So obviously being that it is a MagSafe charger, so it has your magnetic ports right here. And then of course, one of the cool things, it has a 45 degree tilt stand. Now when you tilt it, it is a little stiff, I'm not gonna lie, but once you move it more around, it gets a little bit looser. And that's one of the first positives is that you can move it and adjust it based on how you sleep at night. And one thing I like is when I put it at my computer desk when I'm working, I can always move it up and down so my phone can move as it goes. And also I can adjust the camera without having to turn it or whatever. Now, being that it is a MagSafe charger, you could turn it sideways and it will stay magnetically. On the back, you have a Apple Watch charger, which can charge all your Apple Watches from the Series 3 and up. You also, at the bottom, have a Qi wireless charging pad, so that way you can charge your headphones. And at the bottom, you have vents to help with cooling, and also in the bottom of the Apple Watch charger as well. And of course, this works with a USB-C connector. Now, one of the things I wanted to say right off the bat is, out of the box, you do not get a charging brick, which I do have to say is a slight negative because usually when you get triple chargers, usually they send you a charger in the box that's proprietary, it's connected to it, so it can handle the amount of wattages. But in my testing, I found that the simple Apple 20 watt brick is more than enough power to charge this thing up. So honestly, I think I can let that slide. Now taking a look at the tech specs inside of this thing, it does tout 15 watts maximum. However though, there is one caveat, it does not have the MagSafe 15 watt charging. It only allows up to 7.5 watts, which a lot of you will consider a negative, but the only reason I'm not considering it a negative is because I consider this an overnight charger, which I'll discuss in just a second. But with that being said though, it is a negative regardless. You don't get the full 15 watts, but you do get the 7.5 watts. You get two watts max of the Apple Watch charger, and I believe five watts at the bottom of the wireless charging stand. Now, Taking a look at that, what I just said before, why I'm considering it not a negative is because of two things. Number one, generally this charger I've used many times throughout my college nights when I'm working in my computer room, when I'm working with my group till one in the morning. And usually at that time, I don't mind if my device is charged that slowly because they'll be ready for when I wake up in the morning. And also it is a little bit more healthier for the battery in terms of not rapidly charging your phone extreme every time. It puts less strain on the battery and it also helps with also the cooling of the this thing which we'll discuss at the end of this video another thing is also for the fact that it has the Apple watch charger because my Apple watch dies every day and a half so I just plop it on as I'm working and then boom it's charged up ready for me to go when I go to the gym and then if I have my wireless charging headphones around any of them Apple Soundcore, any one of them I just plop them on in the center and boom they're good to go and they support fast charging anyway now, one of the other things I wanted to note that I liked about this charger is the build quality. Now, most of these chargers that you see on the market, they look the same, they act the same, but AceFast has managed to make this thing very premium. It has nice weight to it, it doesn't feel cheap, and it actually has a lot of circuit protection and heat protection built into this thing. So it will have surge protection, cir circuit protection, overcharge protection, everything covered from the ground up. So AceFast has got you locked in, and I can vouch for that as I still use their 65 watt fast charging brick and I can tell you guys my experience with that is still amazing. Now with everything discussed, what can I say about this? Well it's simple. While I do believe that there are other alternatives out there, I'm not going to hold AceFast to the 15 watt wireless charging limit because that is an MF certification that Apple is slowly starting to roll out as they will be eventually replacing Lightning in favor of MagSafe. So this is something that I can't generally blame AceFast for. 
because this is not something that they can control. This is just what Apple does. Apple wants to make MagSafe a proprietary technology. So that's something that these companies have to jump on board when the time comes. But regardless of that, it is still a great stand. And for the price of it, it's honestly not bad. Now the retail price is $46.99, but if you're a Prime member, you can get it for $42. But I would urge Ace Fast, if you're watching this video, I would urge you to lower the price. Only reason I say that is because $46.99 without a Prime membership, it does seem a little expensive because you're breaking the $50 price. But if you price it around $39.99, that's probably a more sweeter price point that I would say, but I still would make the recommendation because it's light, it's portable, you can grab it, take it with you. You got all three chargers built into this thing. And honestly, after using their previous products, I can honestly vouch for this company because AceFast has proven to be reliable and has proven to be a go-to when it comes to power. And they're slowly but surely making their way through the market. So I'm very interested to see what the future holds for them. So overall, when it comes to this triple charger, yeah, give it a shot. It does have a lot of features going for it. It may not have the 15 watts, but at least you get the three in one. And also with very good build quality and circuit protection, surge protection, I think that this is something you could pick up, but I would urge Ace Fast to lower the price to $39.99 instead of $46.99. That's just my only complaint. But other than that, pretty decent charger. I would definitely check it out. But anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you disliked the video, you can hit the dislike button. That helps work with my videos as well. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great day, guys. Take care, stay safe, and peace.